Welcome student, today I am going to discuss Java Swing. In the previous lecture, I have discussed get document base, get code base method. I have also discussed about the repaint method. I have also discussed Java layout manager which is very very important in the concept of uh, applet programming and it is also very very important for Java Swing also this concept is very very important and today I am going to discuss mainly about the Java Swing what is Java Swing what is the difference between the AWT and Swing because we are already familiar with the AWT abstract window toolkit and we are also familiar with the event class and here I will discuss about what is JFC and what is the hierarchy of Java Swing class that is that topic is very very important because if we want to implement any program by using Java Swing that concept is very very important and what are the basic commonly used method of component class I will discuss and uh, according to our syllabus I will discuss about J button what are the commonly used constructor what are the commonly method of abstract button class. I will give a coding example of J button class and I will discuss in my uh, J text field commonly use the constructor commonly use the method of J text field and I will also give a coding example of J text field and at the end I will discuss about this topic. Uh, with J button and J text field with action listener. So, first couple of things I am going to cover in first lecture and I will discuss in second lecture Java button and Java text field and with the coding example I will discuss in my next lecture. So, let us start with what does mean Java swing. So, let us start with the first topic what is Java swing. So, we are already familiar with the applet program. So, we are only also familiar with the AWT component abstract window toolkit. So, Java Swing is a part of Java foundation class that is short stands for JFC okay. and that is used to create a window based application and it is built on the top of AWT API and entirely written in Java. So, unlike AWT, Java Swing provide platform independent and lightweight component that is the very very important uh, difference with AWT and you have a package the name of the package is Java X dot swings Java the small dot swing package so whenever we write already uh, write an applet program so many applet programs so we have just import java dot applet dot awt dot applet dot star but here i have to import java dot java x dot swing package right and this package provide the classes for java swing api such as j button j text field j text area j radio button j check box menu color chooser etc so those class are available in my java x dot swing package java x dot swing package it is very very important you have to remember all the time just whenever you are going to write a java swing program so you have to import this package so i'll show you how to import this package you already know how to import a package 
and now move into the difference between the awt and swing this question is very very important for your interview also because most of the time most of the interviewer will call that the what is the difference between the awt and swing because uh, we are also implementing by using awt we are also implementing program by using swing so what is the different so first first different is it is very very important awt component are platform dependent you already know what does mean the platform dependent and platform independent okay so here swing is component whatever the component i have just uh, mentioned in, in previous lecture that component are platform independent okay so uh, this is a very very important difference between the awt and java swing and second point is also very important awt component are heavyweight okay and swing component are lightweight okay and third is does not support pluggable looks and feels so in case in case of awt we have seen that whenever we are going to write a program so it depend on the operating system so what will be the look of this uh, button window so it depend on operating system whether i am just writing the program in uh, mac operating system or linux operating system or window operating system depend on that but in case of swing component are lightweight and it also support pluggable look and feel so it looks like very uh, good you can uh, uh, check from the example also so the difference uh, and and the fourth one is this three point is very very important the component are platform independent whereas swing components are platform independent this point is very very important and this is awt are heavyweight here awt is a lightweight component so this is a very important different this two different is were very important and awt provide less component than swing but swing provide more powerful component each of the component for example we have a table we have a list we have a scroll pens we have a color chooser etc these are the important component which are most powerful in case of pluggable look and one of the important different is awt does not support mbc because you know that most of the java program we have seen that model view controller mbc stands for model view controller where the model represent the data and view represent the presentation so view means presentation model means represent data how to represent the data and controller act as the interface between the model and view so that does not support by awt but in case of swing it follow mvc architecture okay so this is a very very important five different are uh, difference are very very important at most of the time you will get question from this what is the difference between the awt and swing in your exam also uh, i hope you uh, you uh, you clear the concept of awt and swing difference between the awt and swing let's move uh, to the next topic hierarchy of java swing class so this concept is very very important because most of the time the concept of hierarchy of java swing class is very important because we have to know the how many classes are uh, present in swing class and for how uh, the component class extend the object class that is the very very important thing and we know that uh, in on class the object is the super class of all the classes in java and it, it it has a child class one of the child class is component okay and that component class we have a container in case of awt we have seen that we have a container and we have a j component here we are talking about the here we are talking about the swing class so we basically concentrate on the right hand side of the hierarchy so we will con concentrate on the j level j list j table j combo box j slider j menu those class and the important class most of the time we will use uh, the j button class which extend or we can say uh, it's a child class of abstract button class so later i will discuss about the what are the commonly method is available in abstract button class and i will discuss also the j text field uh, according to our syllabus i will discuss also so this j component this class are 
extend or extend the j component class so that means these are the child class of j component class okay and here the container we already know that uh, it has a two child class window and panel and panel is a subclass uh, of uh, is a super class of applet so applet extend the panel and here left hand side we can say that window as a child class frame and dialog so this is the hierarchy of java swing class so whenever we are consider about the swing class so we basically concentrate on the right hand side of this hierarchy so j component component so look at this uh, object j component uh, component j component j label j list j table j compo box j slide j menu so those are the important class regarding the uh, hierarchy of java abstract class and uh, this concept is very very important for your uh, swing class because most of the time you are going to use this this class j level j leaks j table j button so j text field uh, check box we are going to use and color chuja so many other classes are available if i want to import the java x dot swing package so you will get all the classes okay and now uh, what are the common method which we which are basically used to in our component class okay so let us see what are the common methods are used in our component class so here i have discussed about the component class is a child class of a object class okay or you can say it is a super class of j component class so let us let us see what are the common methods and of component class so this method is most of the time we are going to use in every swing program because uh, whenever we are to add to a, a component uh, to another um, component so then we use the add method this is a very very important the first method is very very important so uh, we will see with an with an example that how to use those method in our java swing class so first one is public void at component c so component is a class and that object has to be passed as a argument of this method okay that object has to pass in the argument of this method and what does it mean actually what is the description of this uh, method actually so it add a component of another class okay or a component to another component so we have a uh, some other components so if i want to add a component to uh, another component so we are going to use the add function and whenever we are going to use the add function we have to pass the component object as an argument so this is the first requirement so we will see how to add for example if i want to add a button to our frame class so then we have to use that f dot add then what are the component that component has to that object has to pass as an argument we will see in later with an example uh, when we will discuss about the quoting example of j button j text field and then you will, you will see that this is the commonly used method so most of the time and the second thing is public void set size so set the size of the component suppose i have uh, i have just used a button so what will be the size of this button okay so whether what is the length what is the uh, 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 height weight so i will discuss so first is so it takes two argument one of the argument is called weight and second argument is called height and all the uh, value are integer so integer weight and integer weight as as a two argument we have to pass so set size method is very important because whenever we are going to add a component to our um, uh, uh, frame so we will see that what is the size of the component so what is the width of the component what is the length of the component so i have to i have to mention so this method is very very useful uh, whenever we are going to use a swing program so it basically the main of this method is so set size of the component so that means so what is the size of the component each of the component we have to mention whenever we are going to use this and the last uh, third one is the public void set layout as set layout 
uh, this is very very important in case of awt we have seen that layout manager we have different layout manager we have a border layout manager we have a uh, grid layout manager card grid layout manager so we have seen the layout manager in the previous lecture also if you don't know please go through the previous lecture so that you that um, uh, get the idea of how to use the layout manager so here uh, in case of layout manager uh, we use for the where uh, what kind of component we are going to use what kind of application we are going to use so we will based on that we will use the layout manager so we will see uh, in later and that the last method which is very very important because uh, public void set visible this method and it takes as an argument boolean boolean uh, object and uh, boolean as an argument so v boolean v as an argument so it is a uh, single argument function a uh, single argument function said it basically use the set the visibility of the component sometime it may be happen that if i if i want to uh, see the button in our uh, window so then we use the set visible true and if it is i, I do not want to see this button at a time so then we use the false as a uh, boolean value so by default it is false if you want to show the button in uh, uh, so it is visible to your window or program then you have to use the uh, set visible method so those four method is very very important so first is public void at component and the second one is public void set size and the third is public void set layout where we just pass what the layout manager we are going to use and the fourth one is public void set visible and what is the value whether it is true or false according to our requirement we will do that so these are the four basic uh, most commonly used method whenever we are going to write a uh, swing program because we have seen that uh, with the swing program uh, in our hierarchy we have uh, seen that if i want to um, use the look at this the component class here I have discussed what are the component are available and what are the common method are available. So, this component class has the following method. So, it can use by the AWT or you can say it can use by the com, uh, applet method also. It can also use by the J component or you can say Java swing classes. So, this is very very important important concept. So, that is why I every time I told you that I mentioned several times that uh, hierarchy of Java swing classes or AW classes is very very important. So, so in the next uh, in this lecture sir, I have discussed what is swing and one more thing I have to um, say about this Java uh, foundation class. So, Java JFC actually Java foundation class what does it mean JFC means? So, Java JFC stands for JFC stands for uh, in the in the definition of swing I told you this is a part of JSC ok right. So, Java foundation class foundation. So, JFC stands for Java foundation classes. In case of uh, when I talk about the definition of swing, we, I told you that the Java swing is a part of Java foundation classes and that is used to create the window based application. So, when our whenever we are just using the swing, so swing is a part of Java foundation class and it is used to use to window, uh, develop window based application, but Java foundation class are the set of guy component graphical user interface ok components right components we simplify the development of desktop application. So, Java foundation classes are a set of guy components which simplify we simplify the development of desktop application. So, this is very very important desktop application. So, uh, in this lecture I have just discussed about what is Java swing 
what is the different what is the different between the awt and java swing that is very very important because most of the time we will get this common question in your exam yeah, even if you will get some question from interviewer what is the different between the jwt and uh, awt and swing so we have seen the mainly three difference we have i have discussed about the five different five different so we got only three is very very important first is awt is a uh, awt is a uh, platform dependent okay and swing is a platform independent and it means that awt component are lighter also and uh, sorry awt component are heavyweight in case of swing component are lightweight and uh, awt does not provide does not provide uh, mvc uh, mvc mvc model so where the swing follow the mvc model so our mvc stands for model view controller where the model represent the data and view represent the presentation and controller act as the interface between the model and view so that part is very very important so those three important um, concept is very very uh, essential for difference between the awt and swings and after that i have discussed about the uh, hierarchy of swing class where we have seen that j component has a following class you can see that we, if we if you want to implement any level please compare with this one we have seen in case of ew level leaks table uh, we have not seen table sorry combo box menu so here just i have used the capital j letter in front of those classes in awt classes so here so it's a j component so in case of component we have a container you have to, in case of swing we have a j component okay so that is the hierarchy of swing class and also i have discussed about the uh, what are the commonly method used so, so most of the time we will get this method in our swing program so these are the essential method because if i want to add a component in your uh, uh, to our uh, window then we have to use the add method what is the size of the wind uh, component then we have to use the set size we have to use whether the co component will be visibility or not in window so that set visibility very well this three is very very important so most of the time we are going to use this method and in next class i am will discuss about the java j button so and also i will discuss about the java uh, j text field text field and also we will discuss about the uh, commonly method of j button and j text field i will also show the coding example so that you can get the clear idea about the j button how to use it in your coding uh, how to implement we by using j button in a uh, simple java uh, swing program i will also give you the example of coding example of jtx fields i will also discuss about the uh, action listener so uh, at the last uh, of this lecture tomorrow i will discuss also with an example the how to use the action listener in case of j button and jtx fields uh, at a time we will explain all those things in our next example thank you